What's up guys? Quick tutorials, flstudiomadness.blogspot.com. Go check it out. I'm going to show you how to make a dead mouse style type of intro today. Most importantly, you're going to need to know what side chaining is, and that is that will be explained or has been explained in a video of mine previously, but the plugins I'm, u I'm using VST, the VST Nexus, and the presets I'm using are BA Taurus from the XP Base Pack and Voice Omega Soft Voice. Now let's just hear it. There's a lot of automation I'm going to show you in this video. As you can see right here. And it's going to open up into a song, then maybe a, a clap, and then go into, you know, a breakdown or whatever. Whatever whatever you want to do with it. Dead Mouse would tear it apart. <laughs> but, okay. Now, first and most importantly, uh, what I'm going to want you to do is make a pattern. Make a pattern. I can't tell you exactly how to do it, but make a pattern that sounds good to you. I'll just show you what mine looks like. There's usually a chop stop right there. So that's my pattern. Next, you have to. These are both. Look right here, it says FX6. These are both on the same channel, which has a love filter, which I automate eventually. So bear with me here. I've got my kick drum. I've got these side chained to my kick drum. So when you put one, two, three, four, all fours, crank that up all the way. Your volume is going to go up all the way. You're going to put that on its own channel. Put it on a peak. Con put a peak controller on it, and then you're going to go to wherever your VST plugins are. Right click, link it to a controller. I already have mine set up here, but you're going to want to link it to peak control kick peak. Map, mapping formula input one and then press accept after that make sure you go into the peak click on the peak controller for where your kick drum is of course it's on all fours and the volumes up all the way and make sure it's set to mute because we don't want that coming through we just want to use that to pump everything else so next order of business I have here is the cutoff envelope the two cutoff envelopes for each of these. Now, I have, what I've done with these is when you open up, a lot of people don't know that you can do this. I have this cutoff envelope set to an automation clip that I'm, I'm controlling the automation right here on which direction I want it to be. I have this one set to a high pass. Right click on the cutoff, or I'm sorry, do not right click on it. Wiggle it a little bit. Go to Option Tools. I'm sorry. Last tweaked, and press Create an Automation Clip. I'm not going to do that because I have I've already I already have it done. And then you'll see an automation clip right here, just pop up. And then go to your next one, your next plugin that you're automating, and do the same thing. Wiggle the cutoff a little bit. Make sure this is set to on wiggle the cutoff a little bit. It's the last thing you're going to want to do, wiggle it. <laughs> Go to tools, last tweaked, create an automation clip. So now you're going to be able to control the automation of your cutoff through this. And finally, what I have done is on channel 5, <laughs> channel 5, bad news station, over where I'm at, is you're going to put a love filter on it. And you're going to go all the way back to the beginning, press record, and then it's going to ask you what you would like to record. Press automation clip only. So if I were to press record, I would press automation and score, and then I would press play and record my automation. Now, 
make sure you are on a different pattern because wherever you record whenever you press the play button it's going to record onto that pattern it's going to go and create its new pattern so what we're going to do here well, I'm not going to do it what you're going to want to do is click, go to your pattern where you've created something and now you will see when you have the love filter set you can go in all sorts of kind of directions here and, and open it up I have I, the preset that I have is low pass so it's going to low pass everything not only do am I am putting a low pass on these but I'm also putting a low pass on the pattern on everything combined so now um, you're going to have your side chain set up you're going to have your pattern already already laid out you're going to lay out your pattern you're going to have these appear and whichever way you want to automate them play around with them you know put this up here put this down here you'll become familiar with how, how it works so next like I said you're gonna have to have this open and you're going to be recording live what you're doing here that's exactly what this pattern is but make sure you have it onto a pattern that you have done, a blank slate pattern so to say and then you're going to move it around whichever sounds good to you and after you do that and press stop this is what will appear right here and then you can go into the, all the rest of the dynamics of your track you can do this in any part of your track but this is just one use I do with the uh, the love filter it's got a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of diversity you can do a lot of very cool things with it so I'll play this for you one more time and I'm sure there'll be plenty of questions and I will have follow-up follow-up videos regarding this but I'll play it one more time so you can kind of see how everything's linking together there's my two patterns there's my the side chained the, the kick that they're chaining off of and here is the automation for everything from XY from the love filter here's your cutoff filter from the from here and here cutoff is linked to there so you'll hear it now everything when you hear all these everything opening up slowly you're gonna see and hear it together and like I said right here would be a nice boom boom clap and then go right into something crazy I don't even know what else I have on here Yeah, this is going to become a track at some point. So this is all in the making, but if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and please subscribe so I can keep making more videos like this. And I hope you have a good day and like the video because I like you.